I intend to speak in support of defunding Obamacare until I am no longer able to stand. And anyone who is trying to make this a battle of personalities is trying to change the topic from the topic that should matter. Whether or not Obamacare is helping the American people. Mr. President, if you focus on the substance, the evidence overwhelming. This law is a train wreck. Anyone who votes to cut off debate on this bill is voting to allow Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid to fully fund Obamacare. That's a vote that I think is a profound mistake. Now, if you will forgive me, I want to take the opportunity to read two bedtime stories to my girls, but there's a point to this also. And the point is very simple. The urgency we have and should feel is because of our kids. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Mark my words. If Congress doesn't act to defund Obamacare to stop this train wreck before the end of the president's administration, unions are going to end up getting an exemption from Obamacare. It's going to be everyone that's a political friend of the administration that has juice, that has power, will get exemptions. And the people that are left, you have nothing to worry about unless you don't happen to have several high-paid Washington, D.C. lobbyists on your staff. Unless you happen just to be an Hispanic entrepreneur, a single mom, a hard-working American trying to provide for his or her family, then maybe you have something to worry about. Because you're not going to get the exemption because what the Senate has been saying to you is exemptions for everybody else, but not for hardworking American families. Mr. President, I believe if it doesn't apply to everyone, it should apply to no one. 